Hello everyone, I am Sarah the Rainbow Hearted Witch. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving or just a period of giving thanks for all your blessings. It's always important to always be mindful of what we have, be thankful, and um, not ruminate, not dwell on what we don't have. So with that being said, we're going to start off again with a little um, sound healing. So I had a conversation with a friend recently um, where they went down a rabbit hole and got lost in the fear. And that is really easy to do, especially right now. There's so much chaos and change. And I'm not going to lie, it's it's been difficult reading cards and I feel like I've been off. Um, but it's hard to tap into the energy right now with so much uncertainty and so much change that getting readings right now, which, you know, I shouldn't be saying this, right? Because I'm trying to start a tarot business. <laughs> you can still get something out of it, but just be aware that it's less solid now more than ever. It's going to be more of a snapshot into your subconscious mind. Right now, it's really important, and I've been saying this for the last year, connect to your heart. Become heart-centered. Become mindful. Work on those two things. Only worry about yourself and finding your authentic self. Remember to play. Have fun. This week, I'm going to be doing a flip-through of all my light worker cards oracles mainly I have a couple of um, tarot decks and working your light especially with some of these it reminds you some of these oracle cards remind you to dance to play and that's very much in line with um, shaman shamanic healing is we call like a lot of the times of the shamanic tools you're playing because you're getting back into your body. You're getting also, by getting into your body, by getting grounded, it's easier to connect to your higher self and connecting to your higher self. Then you realize how powerful you are. You realize that you are a creator. And it is really important to call back the lost, um, the pieces of yourself that not necessarily lost, but maybe you have left due to trauma. And we all have trauma to varying degrees. Uh, even if you think you don't, we all experience trauma. You live on the, this earth, we have trauma. So anyway, that's my introduction. I'm going to jump right into the cards. They're Rebecca Campbell's artwork by Danielle Noel. I don't know why I had such a hard time. I think it's because I work with a public and I say names and I get corrected on the daily I think it's something simple I say their name oh no it's not that it's something crazy so anyway <laughs> it makes me a little self-conscious and I think I'm mispronouncing everybody's name so I know that's where that comes from so these cards it says you are you ready to work your light this beautiful 44 card Oracle deck has been created to help you light up the world with your presence by working with its five suits and connecting with your intuition you will be able to start living a life in alignment with who you truly are so there's uh the suits are the confirmation cards which give a quick hit of instant guidance inquiry cards 
which help you to tune in to the whispers of your soul. Action cards guide you on what action to take. Activation cards invoke healing within you. And transmission cards connect you with supportive energies. Now, this deck is very muted, pastel, pinks, purples, blues. It's a very feminine. So if you need to heal your divine feminine, I would definitely recommend working with this oracle. Now the front, the attention to detail is just amazing. They both say you are the oracle, which is very true. You are the oracle. Sorry, weird light. So here is the guidebook. It's 122 pages. We have Welcome to the Work, Your Light Oracle. You are the Oracle. Working with a work, Your Light Oracle. Reading for other people. Work Your Light Oracle Attunement. Opening Sacred Soul Space. Work Your Light Oracle Card Spreads. And then we have it um, divided into the suit. Suit 1 is Confirmation Cards. Suit 2 is Inquiry Cards. Suit 3 is Action Cards. Suit 4 is Activation Cards. And Suit 5 is Transmission Cards. Then there is information on becoming a Work Your Light Oracle card reader. Which really, you guys, you don't need to take any classes or workshops unless you feel so inclined. All you have to do is play with the cards and connect with your intuition. But what do I know? And then we have About the Artist and About the Author. Now, these are the backs of the cards. All right, I'm going to show some of my favorite cards. And you can just see how feminine and soft. They are, and I love the dance and play card. It's always important to remember that it's not just hard work. It's not just a, the dark night of the soul, that it really is about play. It really is about um, getting in your body. So those are just a few of my favorite cards from this deck. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a one card pull of what do we need to hear as a collective right now. And then I'll read from the booklet so you get a little idea of the setup of how the cards are. Also, I would like to point out that this deck, not only is it very feminine and energy, uh, it is also very new age, which that's what a light worker, it's very, you know, very new age. But there's some other decks that when we get further, um, will feature different aspects of either new age or spirituality. This one's very focused on our cosmic family, our soul family, like higher dimensions, different dimensions, things like that. Also, these cards... They may be a little bit on the larger side, as you can see, but they're matte. And matte cards are so much easier to shuffle. And they're not like super thick. They're pretty bendable, which is nice. All right. So our card for this week from this deck is Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So I will find it in this book it's 
So it would probably help if they put some kind of indicator which suit to look under. Like at least put like suit one, suit two, suit, you know, three, four, or five. Um, because it's a little bit difficult to find. This one is under suit two, under inquiry cards. So page 56. So they give you um, the image of the card, the title, the caption underneath again. It gives you a little description and then work your light inquiry. It's the same as the title, How Can You Mother Yourself? So it says, you are more held than you could possibly imagine, loved and cherished, cherished so dearly that if you knew, you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. Lay all your worries, regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. You are love in motion. If you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul. Treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of earth so I think when I work with this um reading this isn't really my thing I really can't stand channeling uh I hate it when people say my sweet dear or, or talk to us like that um I find it very off-putting and maybe I just embrace my masculine side too much and I just feels patronizing and it feels fake um but that's my only like really gripe with this is I can't handle that. Like, um, my dear sweet child, like what? Ugh. Like that's, yeah. So that could just be a product of me being very, um, more in my masculinity and maybe something I need to heal, but I don't know about you guys, but I just don't like that. I find it very patronizing and, um, it's why I have a hard time reading channeled messages because why just say your message like just get to the point you don't have to address us as my sweet child that's so gross really just sickly sweet because um they're channeling the energy of um the cosmic mother or as they call it the star mother um because i'm looking through the other ones and they don't start like that so, okay, I think I can forgive it. It's just, that's not my thing. Anyway. Beautiful, soft deck. If you don't mind some minor, like, patronizing. I know a lot of people love channeled work. I mean, I like some of it as well. I just can't handle the, my sweet child. Anyway. All right, so this is one of from one of my favorites uh creator deck creator this is from alana fairchild this is the light worker oracle i love alana fairchild's decks i think that her messages are amazing on point the artwork is great i love this and this one she works with the rays um, so anyone who works with like St. Germain and the Rays of Light, um, that's what this one is more about. So this says, this deck is for those who feel an inner calling to connect with divine light and higher frequencies of consciousness to bring healing to the world. You can create a positive contribution to our planet, evolve spiritually and develop your innate abilities to work with energy through different healing modalities. 
channeling and communication with higher beings such as angels, ascended masters, and other spiritual guides. You can help humanity shift from fear to love. So that's just the beginning. The inside is just blue, which that's fine. Here's the book. I always start with the back. <laughs> Such a Gemini thing of me. I need to know <laughs> what happens at the end before I read. All right. So this is by Blue Angel Publishing. It's 139 pages with the about the author and artist. And the artist is Mario Daguay. All right, so this one, we have the introduction, and then it just goes right into the messages. So we have introduction. Do I have to be a light worker to use this deck? How to use this deck? Again, just use it. Just jump right in. Just have fun. What are the invocations? What are light workers? Could I be a light worker? Then there's like a little quiz to find out if you are. But if you're attracted to this stuff, you're a light worker. The practice of light work. Working with group energy, a teacher or a guide, life missions for light workers, and then we get into the messages. So here's the back, and this deck is a lot more balanced. It's not as feminine. It's it's balanced between the masculine and the feminine, which is is really nice. And then so I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite cards. Like, this is so beautiful. I love the colors. This one's more vibrant. Trust the plan. We definitely need to trust the plan. This is another one we need to do. Unplug from mass consciousness. What everybody else is doing is none of our concern. Orbs of light. Merkaba spiritual protection. Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ, Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge, Master Hilarion, and Archangel Raphael. And then we have Initiation by like Air, Water, Fire, Earth. And then here's what I was talking about. They have the rays. So I'm showing you this card because it's so beautiful. The third ray of creative intelligence. And then power of the divine masculine. See already more balanced, which I already enjoy that so much more. And then family of light. Like this card is beautiful. All right. So we'll do the same as the last time. So you can get an idea of how this, these cards read. Now, Alana, Alana Fairchild has 22 oracle decks out, 13 books, and 30 recorded music and meditation albums. Um, like I said, she has a few of my favorite oracles out. I love working with her oracle decks. There was one that I couldn't connect with. That was the Journey of Love, and I gifted that to a dear friend. And I know she loves it and connected with it. So I'm just so happy. Not... Everything is for everyone. You know, that's all you got to say is, um, you know, and that's okay. Even if it's from your favorite author, it just may not be for you. What message do we need to hear from this deck this week? Yes, we do need this message. Unplug from mass consciousness. All right. 
Oh, I like the dedication. May you always turn to the light. And I wish that blessing on all of you. So this is good. It's numbered. So already I love that. And we have the numbers right here. So page 39. And I flipped right to it. See, this is the message we need to hear today. So we have the card. And then we get right into it. I don't know if I'll read it all to you. Um, because it's quite long. It's two full pages. And then we have the invocation. I might just read this first paragraph and then the invocation. There is a belief system based on fear, doubt, and distrust that is known as mass consciousness. It says it is safer to stay with the crowd, not to question what you have been taught. It says you cannot trust the divine to take care of you. It says you cannot trust the divine to take care of your financial well-being or your emotional needs. It says you should be afraid and not take risks. It says that if you dare to stand up and live your truth, you'll be lost and alone, humiliated, rejected, or even destroyed. You are being guided to unplug from that system of beliefs. You are capable of a more creative, loving, and soul-satisfying way of living. To access this, let go of the way that is too small for your soul. Okay, so that was just the first paragraph. I kind of want to keep going. I'm going to read one more. You are brave and aware enough to think outside the square, beyond what society or your peers may consider normal. You are supposed to be questioning things right now. You are in a transition from one way of thinking to another, opening up to a new world which you can trust enough to live in with peace and happiness because of the upgraded new beliefs you are cultivating. No matter how others may resist or criticize your choices, perhaps your new ideas take you away from the world they feel comfortable in, your higher guidance encourages you to keep opening your mind to a more loving, higher reality. All right, I'm going to skip now to the invocation. Of my own free will, I now ask for spiritual intervention and divine protection through the guidance that loves me unconditionally. I now request the thorough and complete removal of any entity, thought form, belief system, cord attachment, or conditioning from my body, mind, and soul that does not resonate with the pure frequency of unconditional love. I ask for this process to happen with divine mercy, wisdom, and blessing. I call upon my own inner power and strength to listen for my truths and stand in the light of those truths at the perfect time and in the perfect way with the loving and empower, empowering assistance of my spiritual team. Through divine grace and my own inner spiritual authority, so be it. May all beings be blessed by divine love. May all beings be happy and free. Yes, that is my wish for all beings to be happy and free. So with gratitude, I think, like, I just connect with Alana Fairchild's decks, her cards. Like, this oracle, it gives me chills. I love it. It's I connect with this one. Um, it's balanced. The messages, her messages are on point. They're loving, but not sugary and sappy and like too much. <laughs> I just, you know, but of course we all have different likes and tastes. So if you want a more balanced deck, lightworker deck, that is very informative and also loving. I definitely recommend the Lightworker Oracle by Al Alana Fairchild. I love this deck. All right, this one isn't so much a um, Lightworker. This is the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Now there's more cards than the other ones. This one's a 53 card deck and guidebook. 
The energy oracle cards are designed to reveal both the present energy you project and the results you are likely to attract. The unlimited power of your own consciousness is a vital force that moves through the universe and plants the seeds of your destiny far and wide. These easy to use cards will help you understand what your consciousness is creating as well as reveal any hidden blocks that may be delay delaying your progress. The information they bring will empower and inspire you for it comes from heavenly messengers, friends from the spirit realm, and your own higher self. All that you need is available to you. So let your intuition soar, listen to the messages it brings, and take your life to wonderful new heights. Now this one is way more like focused on um, angels, which is fine. It's just another aspect. So here are the back of their cards. These ones are more glossy. Pretty big cards as well. But they're easy to shuffle, so that's fine. There's a lot of blank pages at the end. So I'm not going to include those. This is by Hay House. These are 176 pages. We have about the author. So we'll go to the front. We have introduction about the cards, reading the energy, oracle cards, card spreads, invocation, and then the messages. And this one works with, so we have angels and we have the chakras. And we also have like doors and then just different things. So it says there are colors and angels indicated on the chakra cards. And then um, this one does work with reversals. So there's an invocation. Um, it says invoking the assistance of spirit is often helpful in both quieting your energy and opening your connection to divine and angelic assistance. You can use the following sample or any invocation or prayer that feels comfortable to you. Hers is, I invite the presence of loving spirit to bring help and healing here. May divine love bless and inform us. May inspiration guide this experience. Bring wisdom to my heart and mind and bring blessings and guidance to all. Amen. So this one, you have um, the card, uh, a little like new beginnings and great creativity, upright meaning, reversed, and then the affirmation. So that's quite a bit for each one. So I'm just going to show a few of my favorite cards from this. These cards are so like vivid and beautiful. All right. Energy Oracle cards. What message do you have for us today?
victory. All right, that's awesome. So let's see how it's laid out. Okay, so it's numbers again, which is so helpful. So 28 is on page 90. This card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way and you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. The achievement may be a great outer success or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort toward. Enjoy the sense of accomplishment. Be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level now. Affirmation. I'm achieving great things within myself and in the world. I see myself as success in many wonderful ways, even now. All right, y'all, this is your homework. I'm going to show it on here. We're going to do this affirmation for the next week, okay? From Wednesday, from tonight, until next Wednesday. Affirm. I'm achieving great things within myself and in the world. I see myself as a success as a success in many wonderful ways even now can you guys see that all right i think you can see that better now so see we don't have to worry you guys we've got this us light workers we're a success and just keep up the hard work of staying heart-centered, of staying in your truth and in your power. We've got this. So these cards are shiny. They're bendable. They're easy to shuffle. Um, they're not too thick. I hate the big cardboard ones. So this deck is, I like the affirmations. I like when affirmations are given or invocations. Um, this deck, if you're interested in angels and working with angels and chakras, then this deck is for you. I have no complaints about this deck. All right. Coming up next is one of my all time favorite decks. This is the light seers tarot. This is by Chris Ann. Her artwork is is truly amazing. So this is a reimaging of the traditional tar uh, tarot and I just these cards are so beautiful. Look at the inside of this box. And into the gray we follow like a thousand flickering stars and there in a sunlight hollow we lose and find what is ours. Dear light and shadow seer, may this deck help you find what is yours. Exo Chris Ann. Beautiful. So that's the top of the box. And then we have the sun at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Here are the backs of the cards. Now these cards are super easy to shuffle. They're nice and long and thin. This is how it fits. They're more matte. There's like, I guess, semi-matte. They're not totally, there's a little bit of um, glossiness. They're a little bit, they're not quite as bendable, but they do shuffle really well. So I love that. The book is long and thin as well. It's beautiful. So this is also from Hay House. It's 184 pages. A journey of shadows and sunshine. And then it's for Sean. Contents, we have Dearest Lightseer, Working and Healing with the Lightseer's Tarot, the Major Arcana, the Minor Arcana, and then about Chris Ann and Acknowledgements. And then she writes a like in a letter. It's really cute. 
and then um, working and healing with this deck. Tarot basics for the new card slinger. She talks about upright and reversals, connecting with your cards, reading and spreads, journaling. So she gives little affirmations too. So like the fool, it's I'm ready for this adventure down my soul path. So she gives the light and the shadow part of the card, which is cool. Light seer, new beginnings, potential, adventures, enthusiasm, awakening, innocence, and optimism. Shadow, which could be like the reverse, is night being naive, assuming you already have the answer, rash or impulsive choices, lacking experience, analysis, paralysis, and foolishness. So, yeah, I this tarot deck is wonderful i had looked back i thought i had already done a flip through of this but i had not and i really have to do a flip through because there are so many cards that i love i love the diversity that is shown in this deck the cards are great they're just so beautiful so vibrant so modern a modern take on the classics I love the color and the playfulness and just it's it's a really balanced between masculine and feminine and light and dark and I mean look at this moon it's just so gorgeous and the ten of cups this king of swords look at that eight of wands I mean that's beautiful I love it eight of pentacles Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Sun, it's so joyful, Nine of Wands, the Devil, the Emperor, the Hierophant, like, you know, usually it shows the Hierophant and he's so serious and meditating, and this Hierophant is laughing and joyful, and I love that, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Magician, Six of Cups, and Three of Wands. So yeah, I will do a full flip through even though I seriously like showed you like a quarter of the cards already. I love reading with this deck. I love the messages. I love the images. No complaints. I like the size of the deck. It's perfect. Now, last but not least, is the Tarot Illuminati. Oh, I might need to... Okay. Zoom out. So this is by Eric C. Dune. Companion book by Kim Huggins. So this comes in a fancy little box here. And the front cover is beautiful. It's gold gilded. And I wanted to read this little section for you. So anyway, so the table of contents, we have forward introduction using the tarot Illuminati, how to learn tarot, the major arcana, the minor arcana, the court cards, and the appendix. This book is let's see if it gives a page count. 156 pages. I'm just going to read this. Light and the Tarot Illuminati. In essence, the Tarot Illuminati contains within it the light of illumination, realization, and truth made dynamic and interactive through image and symbolism. Each card is like a stained glass window in a church, highlighting a meaningful tale and passing down age old wisdom by being lit up by the light of the sun. Light plays an important role in, car in the card images of the tarot Illuminati. It represents the divine God, the light of truth, attainable wisdom or awareness. 
In spiritual terms, light, particularly sunlight, is a representation of our divine origin as well as the final goal of our spiritual growth. Whether it is depicted in a form of the sun, the moon, the stars, a lantern, reflected light, or a fire, you will find that the tarot illuminati's symbolism of light tells a story of revelation, illumination, and a journey towards awareness and wisdom. So I know that the word Illuminati scares a lot of people, so I'm going to keep reading the title Illuminati. The Terra Illuminati is not related in any way to the order known as the Illuminati. Neither is historical, neither its historical barbarian manifest manifestation, nor a modern idea of a clandestine organization that somehow controls the world. It only shares with the Illuminati. Uh, it only shares with the Illuminati the ideals of illumination and the origin of the name, from the Latin "illuminus," meaning enlightened. Sets out the goal of the Tarot Illuminati. The title also conveys the aesthetics of the deck, filled as they are with light. So there are three cards spread. They have it as the sun, the moon, the st and the stars. They have a planetary spread. The lighting, the lantern spread, the rising sun spread. And then right into it you go. Oh, and I like this that it has astrology in the major arcana. And then look at how beautiful this is, a full page color picture. And then you have um, themes and concepts. So these, these cards are just stunning. So I'm gonna um, show you the cards. I'm not gonna take them all out, but they're gold, gilded. Oops. So here are the backs. They're a little bit wider than the Chris Ann deck, but they still shuffle pretty well. And then here are some of my favorite cards. Let's get this in. Okay. I love how colorful and bright these are. So there you have it. Those are my light worker Oracle and Tarot decks. I was going to combine them, but that would have been a really long uh, video. So I would love to see anyone else's light worker decks. Tag me if you do one, a video response in relation to this and work on that mantra and affirmation and remember we are powerful we are more than enough and we don't have to worry about anyone else's truth we all have free will and we all have the divine within us we are safe we are protected and we are loved and that's all you need to remember Get in your heart, get out and play, dance, move, sing, color, draw, connect with your inner child. That is truly one of the most healing things you can do is be playful. So I wish you all a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below and please subscribe. I will be uploading videos every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Arizona time. 
Bye, guys.